ESI Africa caught up with Toshiba's Mr. Ichigoya at the recent Power Gen Africa show to discuss Toshiba's leading role in the global energy market. Here is what Mr. Ichigoya had to say. The first question that I'd, I'd like to ask you today is with research and, and science predicting that by 2050 mm -hmm. we'll have an extra 2 billion people living on the planet. Okay. In your view, what does the ideal energy mix look like? Um, it depends on the, uh, uh, the, the, the location. Um, for example, in Africa or Southeast Asia, there are a lot of, uh, um, you know, uh, the, the, the economy is growing up. So uh, all those uh, de developing countries, we need a, uh, the base load which should come with uh, the, the, the gas power or uh, hydropower. But uh, renewables is more is essential on, on top of this uh, base load. So I, I, I think uh, the, this is ca kind of marriage with uh, the gas power, hydropower, and all these renewables like uh, solar and the uh, wind power. Yeah, I think so. What projects is Toshiba working on in East Africa specifically? Oh yes, yeah. specifically at the moment we have a ongoing project in Tanzania for Tanesco. It's a uh, 240 megawatt uh, uh, gas combined cycle. Um, it's uh, 240 megawatt is about 20% uh, of entire power generation capacity in that country. And uh, we have uh, completed uh, 160 megawatt um, uh, power generation uh, already in, in, in operation. And we are doing under, under uh, commissioning of the steam cycle part, which comes with uh, 80, plus, 80, 80 megawatt. So uh, it will be completed a couple of uh, months from now. So we'll, after finishing this, um, I believe definitely this will help the, the country. Yeah. And are there any more exciting projects in the pipeline? Yeah, uh, we are, we are uh, still trying to, uh, to, to uh, continue next project in the same country. As well as uh, there are so many countries who have the gas resources in this area. So we are really chasing the project. Yeah. And what is Toshiba doing in terms of um, gas? as a resource? Yeah, um, basically uh, we Toshiba plant is uh, doing a EPC business on power plant. Uh, we do a, uh, the gas power plant uh, EPC in, in, in this uh, continent. Yeah. And globally the EPC market is uh, very competitive. Yes. Uh, what is Toshiba doing to remain in the leading position and what components are you most concerned about? Yeah, good question. Uh, actually, uh, in, if we look at the uh, power industry in global market, uh, the, uh, the normal gas power plant uh, is very much competitive. So it's, uh, it's really difficult to live in this, uh, this kind of uh, simple um, technology. So what we are looking at is uh, we have to create the stable energy introducing this PV and the uh, wind power and putting together with uh, the, the energy storage technology to create a stable uh, power supply towards the, uh, the, the, the consumer's demand. Yeah. And as renewable developments increase, mm -hmm. uh, what is the future for thermal power plants? I think uh, to, to some percentage, there should be some base load um, market on thermal. Um, people tend to say there will be 100% renewable energy, but uh, uh, in some countries it could be done. But uh, I think uh, uh, like uh, Africa, Southeast Asia, developing countries, we should have a stable base load which comes from gas power plant. That's my, my opinion. 
And how do you see the marriage between gas and renewables working? Oh yeah, um, so the, the most important thing for the power uh, grid is also for the consumer is to have a stable power supply in terms of the frequency and the voltage. And the, uh, the, the important role which the, the base load coming from uh, gas power is to have a stable base load based on this uh, stable frequency and voltage. And the, uh, the uh, feebly wind power will follow on top of this, uh, on this uh, stable uh, power generation. So there should be a mixture. Yeah. And with the impact of climate change, where do you see hydropower moving in the next 10 to 20 oh, yeah. years? Everyone is uh, looking at the, uh, again, uh, hydropower because it's very clean and it's zero emission. So um, I think uh, hydropower will be very much important role in, 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 the, in, the, in the global market. So we are really focusing on a hydropower plant project. Yes. And do you think that we'll see a movement towards um, more smaller hydro plants? Yes. Yes, uh, the world trend uh, is now, because of renewables, all connected to the, the distribution network. And the, uh, the large machine is always connected to the high voltage, ultra high voltage. And the, uh, now um, the, the role to, to have a stable frequency voltage regulation is uh, the hydropower must be connected to the, uh, the distribution network which comes with more smaller, medium size or smaller size of hydropower will be uh, the future trend. And the energy market in Africa specifically is at the cusp of transition mm -hmm. and with the 3Ds uh, coming more to the surface. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, how is Toshiba um, staying ahead of this and the changes? Yeah, um, good question. Um, based on our experience in the, in the past in doing a power generation, we know how to control the voltage. We know how to control the frequency. So uh, we have developed the, the energy management system by which we do a best mixture to control the, the stable uh, grid uh, operation. So we are now focusing on this uh, uh, energy management system which uh, incorporate the digital solution of the, uh, the uh, um, from the equipment to the customer and power producer. So this is uh, called a digital solution. Yeah. So it's important to stay um, dynamic. Uh, yes, of course. In, yeah. in this sector, which is moving so quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we cannot focus only on this uh, the conventional power plant uh, technology. We have to develop uh, the new technology which comes with uh, energy, uh, energy management system, digital. Everything is digital now. Yeah. Mr. Ichigoya, thank yeah. you so much. No, not at all. And thank you. Thank you very much.